Let's discuss the specific example of a global control in Irish high cost and how it's related to uh, how the machine. We have people who focus on the beginning of the company of the client is angry. The third thing is that for a company that is found of course, which is 80% of its maximum capacity, equivalent to 24 thousand pounds. Additionally, the moving mass for this machine is around 800 pounds or uh, 25 slugs. Now let's consider a scenario when the machine is operating at 80% accumulator uses and traveling at a speed of 150 inch per second. Suppose a 5% speed increase is required to reach the target speed of 157.5 inch per second. To calculate the time required for this speed increase, we can use the following uh, see on the slide. Over the time is written as we present it and the all is written force rate by us. In case the velocity change V is 7.5 inch per second, which is uh, the difference between the target speed and the initial speed. The force at is 600 pounds, which is equal to our pound, the month is 55 or 100 pounds. I have certain value to formula and calculate the time required. So, this is a simply simple calculation. So we will get the value of T is 0 0.031 second or 31 milliseconds, which is wall response you can see. So, please note that the calculated time represents the theoretical time required for the speed increase. The actual time may be slightly longer due to the factors such as wall response time, which is, should be uh, considered in the practical application. So, if we conclude this slide, so in this example of closed loop control in high pressure diagnosing, we can examine the calculation of the time required for a speed increase by considering the force mass and desired velocity changes. Can estimate the time needed for the machine to reach the target speed. Understanding this calculation helps optimize the control and performance of the HPC process. Thank you, thank you guys for your attention. If you have any further question, so please feel free to ask and contact us. Thank you, thank you very much. Keep up until that.